as we were leaving from Helsinki, we choose to reach Tallinn by boat. Tallinn is the capital of Estonia, separated from Helsinki by 80 kilometers of the Baltic Sea. I must say that it was my first boat trip on a snowstorm and it was really enchanting. Finally, we arrived at Kru Hotel, located in Viru, one of the main streets of the old town. The hotel in a courier is a secret gem of Tallinn, part of the Kru restaurant. We have been delighted with a beautiful dinner at Kru restaurant. The atmosphere was magical, as it was knowing. We wanted to try the restaurant as it's known for its balance between classic and modern natural cuisine and for its chefs who are award-winning character. Crew restaurant is known for its famous chefs Dmitry Hajukov, who was on Chef Olympic 2015 in Lyon and gained the 13th place, and the sous chef Pavel Gurjanov, chef of the year 2013. Crew is a little hotel with only 15 rooms, but all of them are unique and different from each other. The architecture and design of the hotel is nothing of these days, with its wooden beams, the limestone walls and the old wooden floor, catapulting you in the 15th century authentic merchant house, still with all the luxuries. Tallinn had always a Germanic track. It has been under siege first by the Danish, starting from the 13th century, then under the Swedish kingdom. Lately it was occupied by the Soviet Union and the Nazi troops. St. Catherine's Passage, a little romantic walkaway, connects Vene and Murivahe streets. Going through Vene Street, it will be a little tricky to find the master courtyard, but once you will find it, you will fall in love with the place which offers small shops and studio galleries of Estonian artisans. Even if usually we prefer to stay comfortable on lunchtime if we are traveling, this time we couldn't say no to try one of the well-known restaurants of the city, located in the main town hall square, Keralyan restaurant. The first thing you notice if you try this restaurant on daytime is that it's really bright. Its interiors recall the Estonian folklore with lively colors and wooden beams. Starting from the name of the place to its design and menu, everything remembered us the historical roots and customs of Tallinn. The food was delicious. It showed us how essential was the arrangement of the dishes and its visual preparation. Kairayan is one of those restaurants who take care of the details. I remember a few years ago, when I first visited Tallinn, a woman kindly pointed out the fact that I needed to cover my head with a scarf before entering the Orthodox Cathedral of Alexander Nevsky. Tallinn is one of the best preserved medieval cities of Europe. became part of the UNESCO in 1997 and it's not so hard to guess why. Our target was to see the district of Kalamaya, starting from Teliskivi to the harbour. 
To get to Teliskiri by foot, you need to reach the central railway station, Balti Yam, and flank the Russian market or second-hand market, Balti Yamaturk. This place is known for its emerging and well-known Estonian designers products, for the cute shops and second-hand, cafe, atelier, studios, creative companies, offices of artists and the NGOs. From home art, you can find Nordic furnishing, lamps and other lifestyle products. Don't miss Coffee Angels coffee shop. The espresso was so delicious. It's amazing to see the new generations choose such historical place and left alone to build the future of Estonia. From there, we reached the wooden architecture area in the district of Kalamaya, one of the most bohemian places of Tallinn. One of the most esteemed meeting places is the Bohem Kochvik. We reached the fish market, Kalatur, by the docks. We finally got at the feet of the huge ruined Ninna Hall, resembling an ancient Mayan temple. It was completed for the Moscow Olympics regatta in 1980 during the Soviet Union. I was really amazed by the view and it makes you appreciate more the value of the place we live in and how we will need to take care of it more than we are doing, because our earth has a heart too. Tallinn is full of interesting design shops, but my favorite is and always will be the second-hand clothes shop Fankadelic, located on the second floor of Vana Viru 6. Here you can find some good selection of vintage clothes, handpicked meticulously by the owners. We had an amazing evening at restaurant Ne located near the harbour. Ne comes from the Muhu island and is the place where the Padaste Manor, a five-star small luxury resort and spa, is located. The ingredients are products of local farmers and fishermen and fully represent the innovative Nordic gastronomy. We had the chance to meet the extremely talented chef Matthias Dieter. Born in Berlin but raised in South Germany, Dieter, since 2009, earned eight times a Michelin star for the restaurants he led. It was a pleasure watching him in his kingdom, the kitchen, while he was telling us that he totally fell in love with the nature and the beauty of Estonian culture. We could really see and taste what he meant. We went to discover the Rotterman Quarter. Rotterman was the old industrial area during the 20th century. Now this place gained a few life and the old building got new functions and stand next to modern architecture. On Sunday we strongly wanted to have a good homemade hamburger filled with fresh local ingredients for lunch. He is Derek, the master of the burgers, born in Canada. He was the right cherry on top of this beautiful Tallinn that we discovered, full of history, wrinkles, youth and will to grow and keep own culture and customs. What are you doing on this ship? I wanted to see the Baltic Sea. Why? 
What is about? According to the sailors, it's the most beautiful of all. Never noticed. 